Hey, don't be emotional. Let me tell you why. All right, people. What I'm saying, don't be emotional when you try to teach your kid, okay? Because when you try to teach your kid or your player, you don't have to be just the dad. You're saying teaching your kids or teaching an athlete to be the best hitter they can be, right? So, you know when you have a little kid that's five years old, maybe you want them to have fun and you kind of like, you know, he's maybe not the right yet mechanic because they still don't got control of their body or you want them to have fun so they get the experience of, okay, this is baseball, present themselves, like present the game as a fun situation, right? So you have to manipulate that kind of that kind of experience, right? But the other part, now when the kid start getting as elite level, you have to stop to be emotional as a coach and as a player, okay? What I'm saying, first of all, the first emotion that you don't wanna show is just trying to be cheerleader, saying good job to every swing. Now, if the kid, if the kid show you this a great swing, then you go like a little bit of cheerleader. I'm telling you this just because, and based on my experience, okay? If you wanna try to put this kid in a, an elite level and compete with the best of the best, you have to be honest with them from the get-go, okay? It, as soon as they're trying to be in elite level and they control their body, okay? And the other part of the motion when you're coaching a kid or an athlete is don't take it personal. If the kids don't get it yet, don't take it to the level that you getting so aggravated that you cannot deal with the lesson and start saying stupid stuff in front of the kid, you know what I mean? So make sure that you don't get your emotions caught up with the teaching your kids or teaching the kid how to hit the ball. If you're the parents and you're, trying to, you're too emotional about it, you may you best give it to somebody else to teach the kid, okay? They don't have that emotions, you know? So, when they come here and they don't get something done the way I want it, I don't try to just be smart and try to just let them go down themselves. I just kind of just repeat, repeat, and move to something else that maybe help them what I'm trying to get, right? It's manipulation, manipulation, okay? So make sure the emotions go away right here, okay? In the happy way and in the, in the, in the negative way. Happy way because you're trying to be a cheerleader with just because they got a good hit to the middle when you know they're jumping in the front leg or they're getting too long and they just got lucky with the barrel in that little front toss, you bet sure that you tell them the truth. Yeah, that's a good land drive, but it's not good enough because in the game it's gonna translate to a strikeout or maybe a foul ball and you miss a, a bat because you don't do it right right here, okay? And the other part is that, like being emotional here when the kid is like trying, he <laughs> start getting negative, you start getting a little smart with him because you are mad, no, no, no. Just jump to something else, you know? They, every kid wanna get better. And remember, kids, they're still kids. They probably don't got enough maturity to understand that you're trying to help them and trying to get them to the next level. And you have to understand that. As a psychology, you probably, you're already more ahead of whatever he thinking. So act like there's nothing happening. Just change the, change the drill to something else. And if you, have, if you have to talk serious with him, because he may be raised different than what you experience or you know, it's just different mentality than, or he may be knowing here, trying to do the right thing because he don't want to be here or whatever. Maybe you can just let them go to somebody else. But other than that, keep your emotions away. Don't let them get into your head because emotions sometimes is something you don't think, it don't make you think logic. And this is what you need as a coach. I'm observing. I'm trying to go to the most logistic way to get it done in the game. I'm trying to get this kid ready here and challenge him and be the most positive and challenge and at the same time be real with him. So you have to be positive and real to get things done in the game, okay? So that's it. I hope you like this conversation. I just gave you something. If you don't like it, it's okay, people. You don't have to. You don't have to like it. Just skip to the next one. But thank you if you like it. Subscribe if you like it. And if you want to know more information about the mechanics and be in contact with me, 
You can go to GatsterboCB.com. It's a lot of things over there. And subscribe in Instagram. It's a good deal. Just check it that out. Thank you.